Bender, Captain Vicker, and the people are not in a straight row, but the light-colored people are in the front. The painter is actually in the painting, and you can see by their expression, everyone has a unique personality. And I think it's really adorable that the dog is in the center of the painting as they focus. Mary, when she first finds out that she's having a son, she is bearing God's son, standing on a cloud, and an angel is telling her what is about to happen. This is by um, Valde. This is a portrait of Maria Ray by Bull in 1650. Now the lace is dark, but if you look closely, it captures the silk and the folds of this expensive material. And the folding of the hands show that she is of noble character. Paintings are known to show biblical stories. This is the story of St. Paul healing the cripple. Um, it's by Jardine. Um, he painted landscapes, but he also loved to paint large history paintings. Portrait of an Amsterdam postmaster done by Bull. And at this time, Bull was developing his own elegant style based on the work of Van Dyck while continue, continuing to avail himself of Rembrandt's warm palette. He unites the best of these two models. Paintings portray the time period. This is a portrait of a man who has uh, gone with his dog to hunt. That was part of a tradition using the hounds darting around him as a display of status. Given the low vantage point, we literally look up to him. This is the portrait of a man by Jardin, 1626 to 1678. This painting is called The Threatened Swan by Hasselin. 1610 to 1652. Apparently, it's been a tradition for people loving nature and swans, and this particular mama duck, she's not a mama duck, she's a swan, she's defending her nest. You can see her huge wings. She sees a predator coming. A ship on the high seas caught by a squall known as the Gust by Vendel II. Um, it's a 70-gun British warship. In distress, a fierce gust of wind has broken one of its masts and a sail has come loose. In 1672, Velde, together with his father, who was also a marine painter, entered the service of the English court. He made this painting and it's the companion of the cannon shot in England. You can almost feel the waves crashing the ship. Fruit and Flowers by him. He was notorious for loving nature and um, painting Flemish style still life painting. And he captured the glory of nature in minute detail. All kinds of hungry insects populate the still life. Beautiful River Landscape with Writers by Krupp from 1620 to 1691. It's a panoramic sun-drenched river landscape with haze in the distance with clouds. Oil paintings show the history of Dutch ships in a calm sea. From Velde II, 1633 to 1707, their sails are being hoisted, their anchors raised. The small squadron is getting ready to depart. 
A sloop with dignitaries rose past the ships to the sounding of trumpets and firing of salutes.